Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. We're tracking a very large low this week in the Tasman, but it's going to weaken as it tracks over our way. We've also got a large high that's going to continue the cold nights, but the mostly dry days around a large portion of the South Island. So we've got two highs on the animated wind map today, number one and number two. And there's a low forming right here in the middle. This area of high pressure is pretty large, and as we go through the week, the two highs will merge. But right now, one is bringing down a subtropical breeze for the North Island, which is why it's fairly mild this morning, and in the South Island, another high bringing in a cooler southerly flow. So they're sort of doing two different things, and in the Tasman, that's where they're meeting. So temperature-wise, we're actually leaning warmer than average for Monday across the top of the North Island and the western side of the South Island. Everybody else in the uh, green colouring, that's bang on normal. And on Tuesday, that warmth expands a little further, uh, more towards Canterbury, but still most places in the east uh, looking fairly average for this time of the year, but the north definitely looking... Uh, three or four degrees above normal. So let's show you why. We've got these two big highs, one down here near Tasmania, the other one is up here to our northeast. They have joined, and so the South Island, you've got a pretty settled week ahead. Meanwhile, this low deepens further on Tuesday, and it really does push in some severe weather along the coastal parts of New South Wales. Sydney's likely to get some gale force winds out of the southeast, along with heavy rain, and those seas are going to get bigger and bigger along that eastern side of Australia. But for us, not too much going on on Tuesday, just a couple of showers stuck up there around Bay of Plenty, maybe getting into some parts of Waikato and East Cape. By Wednesday, the low is at its deepest. So it's quite a large system, but the more it sort of gets larger, the, the more likely the winds are getting reduced at their peak. So we see the winds extend out, but the very top gusts start to drop down a wee bit. It's still very windy over on this side. They'll still be getting gales around Australia. Now in New Zealand on Wednesday, you'll notice that wind picking up and obviously the cloud cover increasing. It's coming out of the subtropics, so it's certainly going to be mild for you on Wednesday. And in the South Island, uh, a couple of showers may be brushing the eastern side, otherwise you're under high pressure. By Thursday, that low is now starting to weaken. So Wednesday's the day it's at its peak. Thursday, that middle part starting to weaken, and that's because these two big highs have joined forces and they've completely cut off any chance of a southerly wind coming in to really sort of help spin it. So that low's got a fair bit of energy, but it's now cannibalizing itself. It's using up the own, its own energy, being fed by subtropical winds. It won't be cold in the north. And the positive, it brings in some rain around the Auckland catchment areas, although there'll be a lot more falling on the Coromandel Peninsula and up around eastern parts of Northland. Now towards the end of the week on Friday, again, the low weakens even further, 996, uh, so it's definitely weakening, and the high pressure systems, the two of them that have merged, are still pretty much merged. The South Island's pretty much settled, although there will be a bit of a nor'east breeze and maybe some coastal cloud on the eastern side, maybe even a drizzle patch around Marlborough and Kaikoura. And the rain up here in the north, very patchy over the days ahead, that's for sure. Now into the weekend, on Saturday, the low comes in. It's even weaker. It's back into the 1000s. High pressure still extends around the South Island. So Fiordland is going to be very dry this week, while northern areas have got rain and showers off and on as we move through later in the week. And mild very mild this week for the North Island. I mean, we had big frost at the end of last week, minus fours and fives around Waikato. Now you'll be up into the double digits as these warm winds come on through. So rainfall for the next seven days ahead before I go. These areas in the bright blue that you see around East Cape, Coromandel, and way up here in the uh, northern part of uh, the Bay of Islands and around Northland, that's over 100 millimeters, maybe 125 for some spots in the ranges there. Now the areas in pink and purple shading, you're around 40 to 70 millimeters. So it depends a lot on those big rain bands and exactly where they line up. As you can see, it's going to brush the north and the south. Most of the blues and greens and yellows indicate just a few showers coming in for you. That's all from me. Go to ruralweather.co.nz if you need all the data to look at, all the graphs, and if you need some cool maps, you'll find all those at weatherwatch.co.nz and of course on our free app. I'll see you again on Tuesday.